Having grown up in Lexington, Kentucky, for Diane Misty Matthews Walker, going to a woman's college was something of a family tradition. It never occurred to me that I wasn't going to go to a woman's college. We were taking my brother around looking at prep schools. Dad said, well, we're here. Why don't we look at Randolph-Macon, the brick buildings, the uh, layout, the friendliness. I knew I was home. It was behind the brick walls at Randolph-Macon that Misty would discover a passion that would help guide her career and life for years to come. I had a lot of classes that were impactful, but Frank Murray was the most impactful professor I had. He taught how to do research, how to question the information that you're given, and I think I have been able to apply that all through my life. After graduating from Randolph-Macon, she went to Appalachia to develop programs for children with special needs. She earned her PhD and returned to Lynchburg to work at the Community Services Board's Mental Health Clinic. I think I started from a really good base at the Central Virginia Community Services Board. I was the first person that was a specialist in child psych. I started the Sexual Assault Task Force in Lynchburg. We did a lot of work on that. I started the Crisis Line of Central Virginia. She played a key role in establishing the Coalition for the Prevention of Substance Abuse and assisted in bringing and housing refugee families from Kosovo in Lynchburg and eventually donating a kidney to one of the refugees. I think that we're given certain gifts uh, that we're supposed to use and I think we're supposed to help each other and do what we can to make our place a center of hope and a center of caring. Misty's dedication to her community led her to help create the shining beacon of her legacy in Lynchburg, the Amazement Square Children's Museum. We have been recognized by IMLS, which is the federal branch that looks at museums across the country, and we were recognized as one of the best museums, not just children's museums, in the entire United States. And I think for a location like Lynchburg to have that resource is pretty incredible. Another Lynchburg community member who began making her mark when she arrived in Lynchburg was Roselle Schuel, who presented Misty with the Lynchburg Humanitarian Award. One of the things that she has said, and I, I'm not sure I'm quoting this exactly, but what she said is, what's fun for me is accomplishing something everyone thought was impossible to accomplish. And I think that kind of describes her. She'll take on any challenge, she'll try something new, she'll tackle something that nobody else thinks is gonna work. Walker was the president of the Alumni and the Alumni Association from 2003 to 2006, where she worked tirelessly during the planning and transition to co-education. Misty traveled extensively across the United States for this endeavor. She was the first alumni president to have full voting rights on the Board of Trustees. She served the association 17 years as chair of the alumni giving, then as alumni representative, and then as president a great pleasure was when at the 2010 graduation, she welcomed the class of the Alumni Alumni Association, which included her daughter, Kathleen Tyler Walker. I would like to say that I really have participated as an alum at Randolph-Macon Women's College and Randolph College because it gave me so much. It gave me such a great start. I think it's important for all of us to give back so that the students that come after us can do the same. I'm very proud that my daughter was a 2010 graduate of Randolph-Macon. She too experienced a great education and I have great hopes that our students are going to be making a difference in the world. Obviously, I would like to thank my parents, my husband of almost 44 years, um, but especially my children, who I constantly looked to be an inspiration for.